Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing this very cool toned, like black smoky eye with a inner like silver um, lid. And um, this is going to be kind of like a halo eye and I added some glitter to it as well. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys like this look. I also just wanted to take the time to say thank you to everyone who came to my meet and greet. It was so nice meeting each and every one of you. I just want to thank you guys for taking the time off of, like work or leaving your kids at home or anything. Whatever the case may be, I just want to say thank you for coming out on a Tuesday and on Valentine's Day. Like, who am I? <laughs> but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to like this video if you did like what I created. And don't forget to leave a comment down below of what you would like to see next. As always, everything and all the products that I use are going to be listed down below as well as the choker details and shirt details and everything else. Nail polish color, all that good stuff. It will be in the description down below so make sure you check that out and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye. Now we are taking the shade Matte Evans and we are placing that on our crease with a Morphe M513. And taking the shade Matte Rosy, we are using that also as a transition shade, placing that the same way we place our lash shadow on our crease, just blending that out. For the next shade, we are going to be taking Matte Reed, and this is more of a browny earth tone shadow, and we are taking that to give our eyes a little bit more definition. This is a Morphe M514, and we are taking that shadow and placing it on the outer corner and inner corner part of our lid, and then just blending it out. This is a black shadow from the palette called Mad Ahmed. In the lid, we are going to be placing ColourPop Glitterati. This is a very beautiful like champagne -y, silver toned shadow and I just like to open my eye to make sure that the shadow is placed correctly. We want this right in the center of the lid, um, not going anywhere else. For the glitter we are taking the Tarte Eye Jewels in the shade Silver and we are just applying that to the center of the lid. I'm applying a lot of this because I want it to stand out and twinkle a lot. This thing is so pretty, you guys. Now I am taking the NYC Matte Liquid Liner and I am just using that to cover up my lash line. And I heard this was discontinued, but I hope that's not true. For lashes today, we are using Grand Glamour by Vegas Nay. Now we're moving on to face and we're taking the Kim Thai Wonder Lush Moisturizer Slash Primer and we are blending all of that into our face. Next we're taking the Makeup Forever Step 1 and we are taking that where we have our largest pores, placing that, I'm sorry, where we have our largest pores. In my case it is right on my cheeks in the sides of my nose. For foundation today we are taking the Vanish Stick Foundation in the shade Beige. This foundation is a little bit too dark for me right now because I am super duper pale but I love this foundation this much so I am going to work with it. For concealer today we are going back to a oldie but a goodie, the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I feel like I never use this anymore ever since the Tarte Shade Tape came out. And I'm just blending that out with a black beauty blender. Now I am taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder and we are just taking that on a damp beauty blender and just pressing it into the skin to set our concealer immediately. Now I'm taking the MAC NC30 Studio Fix Fluid Powder on a Sigma F20 brush. And don't forget you guys that I do have a coupon code with Sigma. It saves you 10% off your entire order. It is Char MKUP. Now we're taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder once again and we are placing it underneath our eyes just to use it as shadow shields because we are going to be working on our lower lash line now. 
and we don't want any of that shadow falling into our foundation. So for eyeliner, I am taking Makeup Geek Obsidian Liner and I am taking a Sigma brush. I am not sure which one this is, but I will link it down below. And I am just applying some of that shadow from the palette called Matte Reed. So I have applied my mascara and I had a little bit of an accident. I got some mascara on the inner corner of my eye so what I like to do is I just let it dry and then I will come back to it and remove it with a spoolie that way I don't ruin my entire under eye makeup. Now I am just taking the Morphe E4 brush and I am taking, yep you guessed it, the NYX powder foundation in the shade Caramel to bronze up my face. Now I'm moving to the Morphe M530 brush. You guys already know this. This is my brush to contour and I am using the shade Cinnamon Spice in the NYX powder foundation as well. And now we are just removing that mascara that got accidentally on the inner corner of our eye with the spoolie. So now I'm just taking the Veramona Cake and Bake sponge and I am using that to clean up my contour. And now we are just contouring our nose with the Cinnamon Spice Powder Foundation and using a Real Techniques angled brush. For blush today we are using Cora de Rosa by Sigma and we are taking that on a Morphe E4 brush. Smile! <laughs> now I'm taking a little bit of Fix Plus and just spraying that all over my face before we begin to highlight our face. For highlighter today, we are taking a oldie but goodie, the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter in So Hollywood. And I love, love, love this highlighter because it makes your skin look so healthy. And for our inner corner highlight and our brow bone highlight, we are taking the shadow Nylon by MAC. And I am just applying a little bit more highlight because you know me, I can never have too much highlight. And this is a Morphe M501 brush. For lips today, we are using Sir Than Butte, Stay Humble, and Dose of Colors Sand. And now that I see this clip, I remember that I totally forgot to apply sand, so discard that. We are just going to be using Stay Humble and Anastasia Beverly Hills Ashton. I am applying this to the top of my lips and the very center in the bottom because I want to make my lips appear a little bit poutier, but I don't want to use a lip liner, so I'm just using a darker shade of a lipstick. And if you want to leave your lips matte like this, and it's your preference, then you can go ahead and do so. But I am going to go ahead and apply some lip gloss. This is by Sigma in the shade Dazzling. And that brush went Kylie Jenner on me. And if you look at it and you know, then you know what I mean. <laughs> so this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you on my next one.